Hi everyone, this is D with D's Divine Tarot 411, and today we're going to go ahead with the Celtic Cross reading for the sign of Leo. So Leos out there, much love, happy July, and going into the 4th of July, uh, wishing y'all the best. And this uh, reading is a Celtic cross reading from now into July 7th. So just rock and roll. It could actually go a little bit past that as well. Readings usually, depending if you get major arcanas, can really like float with you for some time. So we'll just see what we get and flow with it. I'm going to speak with spirit. That was flush. But we're going to shuffle a little bit just to get some monotony broken up here. <laughs> and speak with spirit so thank you spirit for this opportunity to read for leos universally worldwide thank you so much for common sense and just being able to communicate with one another with words body language and now understanding the deepest symbols over our heads <laughs> used against us for all time and now freely available to understand i should say understand even though we stand under so thank you spirit bless this reading bless this reading bless this reading thank you so very much for your animals all your creatures all the people beautiful people those who are young souls those who are new souls those who are choosing hell over heaven and those who are choosing heaven over hell we are all in the scheme of things where we're meant to be for where we are with our choices and decisions. And this is how the world moves about. And this is how you create our life's curriculum for us. So thank you for our beautiful curriculum of life. Every test, every challenge that you give us to complete because it makes us more and we grow our spirit and we grow our souls each time we complete the test. It's a cycle in the season, never to have to be repeated again. That was flush. We're going to take it. Ooh, I like seeing that. I got to cut the cards, but look where it's at. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. We're cutting the cards now. And we're going to go ahead and deal the cards for y'all. Two, three, four, five, and six. And Two, three, four, five, and six. All right, bottom of the deck. <laughs> Leo's even got the sunshine divine for the summertime, just like you. <laughs> That's your summer uh, background, ain't it? And so this is the We Did It card. We are going to win in the end. Win in the end. You're going to win in the end. Yes, you are. So this is all about doing something that you always wanted to do, like completing a major task in your life. That could be graduation from school. That could be like mastering something, some kind of project you completed or Maybe it's marriage or engagement. It could be so many different things, but this is how you feel when you get this car. It shows in your in your life. It reflects that you've done it. You've won it. You winning. Get with it. Go ahead, y'all. Leos, this is powerful. So that's basically what we're going to see and get some more clarity on your reading. We're going to do one, two, three, four five, six, top to bottom, one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, let's get it cracking. And I hope I said this is D with D's Divine Tarot 411, and this is the Celtic Cross reading for all Leos. So Leo, you saw me spoke with spirit, speak with spirit, and deal the card. So we're just going to jump right into it. All right, so right off rip, we're seeing confusion not sure you know having two choices two paths to choose from just not being clear right now and that's okay a lot of times we're not clear in life i kind of go through that from time to time but i have to learn just to let go when it's not time to choose and i got two swords that's 
like major. So I need to take my time. If I got these swords, I might cut myself or something like that if I'm not safe with the sword. So you want to be mindful with your choices and mindful with your spiritual discernment. That's what this is really all about, but you're not clear right now. And that's okay. We always like become clear eventually, but just know you might be stuck right now. And that's okay. You're waiting on divine timing or spiritual discernment. Next card. See what I mean? And that's what it that's what this is telling you back to forth. That's what I mean. Ain't nothing to really worry about. You do become clear. You're not clear because you're closed off. So in the four, you're closed off blocking blessings. That's trying to come into you. Spirit, it could have probably already came already. This is why we got to understand spirit. You know, we got to we got to have a relationship with spirit and check ourselves. This is about checking ourselves. It's like spirit can teach you things, but you have to use your intuition about what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right or what you're not doing that you should be doing. So once you start doing that kind of thinking, spirit will go further with you. You don't want to just be A to B, black and white with spirit. You want to go to deeper levels. So that's what this is all about. Like, you got to be open to spirit and talking to God and talking to spirit, your guardian angels, your those who've passed on that's still with you right here, right now. They never leave your side. So you just want to be mindful that you are open to seeing what they have for you. We got to look for signs. We got to talk to them. All we got to do is ask for help and they will be there for us. And then certain things we can do to break the monotony up for ourselves from getting stuck, like go for walks, talk to friends, like, you know, listen to music. That's a, my groove. I'll dance or I'll listen to music. A lot of times I dance uh, under the moon and Venus when they're out together. I'm talking to Venus, dancing with her, talking to my woman, manifesting her. And this is, you know, what we have to do to break monotony up in life and get out of this energy where we're closed off and can't see what spirit's trying to bring us. So this is why she can't see is because spirit, she's blocked because she she's closed off and spirit's going to bring you a gift so just be mindful open up give receive and open up that's one of my songs on the community tab please check it if you want uh so oldie but a goodie uh most people haven't heard my joint so i started putting them up but anyway this is a blessing coming in and you know what it's going to lead to right <laughs> that bottom of the deck card <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Next card. Yup, six. So looks like you're leaving. Looks like you completed a task, a tall task, whatever it was. You graduated on to the next thing. And that's what's about to happen. Maybe you were actually physically moving to another location as well. You could a lot of Leos could be like physically moving, or you could be moving in a mind mind state like leaving doing certain things and certain people not really hanging out with them no more going your own way kind of deal it could be a myriad of why you leaving but looks like you're leaving okay getting out of dodge okay so this might have something to do with it or maybe it's just time but this is the nine of wands and this is really you know difficult times like this is giving all you got this is <laughs> i'm ready to quit <laughs> i'm ready to give up i ain't got nothing else to give y'all i'm really really tired spirit i'm tired in my soul i'm tired in my spirit i don't know what else y'all want from me i've given it to you what else you want from me and this is the wounded warrior because he's like spiritually he's done the work he's you know when you do the work and you don't see the results of that work the nine to the ten is the two hardest the ones to get because that last one it's like you feel like you're on, you know, the carrot on the stick. That's how you kind of feel like you're chasing that carrot, you're chasing that carrot, and you can't never get to it. But look how many wines you collected. You collected all nine, so you don't want to get up, give up at the nine and grab that tenth wine. That one more you got to go. You just got to give it your all. Like, your all. One of these times, I'm going to tell y'all about the most painful, physical, painful 
time of my life, besides losing my queen, it was an actual physical, my body pain. But this time, we're just going to talk about, <laughs> you know, pain of life can, you know, suffering and we can hold on to pain. We can hold on to suffering. We can hold on to thoughts that keep us from going to that 10th one. But you just want to go after it. Be in the moment, the here and now. That's how you get that 10th one is to just one moment at a time. And that's through the whole 24 hours. It's a one moment at a time. You don't want to be too far in the future, too far in the past. It's okay to reminisce. It's okay to be a visionary. But you want to be in the here right now when you're going through this kind of thing and not, you know, keeping yourself stuck here. And that's what's going on because you're blocking your blessings. You're a wounded warrior, and that's okay. We all go through that. I, I'm going through that. <laughs> but I have to remind myself spirit is involved, and I'm not doing everything by myself. Okay, so see right here, this is showing you spirit has something that's coming in for you. This is your spiritual order that you put out to the universe, and now it's about to come in. And this is uh for now until July 7th, so you got some gifts coming in. It could come in after this, but it's showing it's it's coming in. Like you see the ships right there, showing they're they're not in the harbor, but they're on their way to you. And this is spiritual gifts you got. Look at this bottom of the deck card for y'all. This is what it's all about. This is your spiritual gift coming to you. You have graduated. It's showing it already from the we did it. So you're moving on to greater times. You're going on to success from here. You're leaving this behind. That nine looks like you're going to the 10. It's showing it already. Here you go. Yeah, you put in so much work. You've put in so much time, so much effort. You gave it all that you have. And look at the mountain of money you created. Money isn't just like uh, like fiat currency. Money is a lot of value that you put into something, and now you get that value back. A lot of time we waste our time on trivial things that don't matter, and we don't get that time back. This is somebody who puts in the work really really goes there could have a job and work they go there they're hard workers and that's who you are but at the same time you're not seeing your work in all that you do and this is spirit calling us and we have to answer the call go back to spirit like when they're calling us they're calling to get our attention because we have a spiritual purpose and we're forgetting about our spiritual purpose because we're in the material world trying to be a material man or a material girl, you know, or a woman, but this is what it is. It's like, we have to understand we have spiritual inheritance to collect. And we also have spiritual work to do for one another. We all are plugged in and we all have a purpose and a destiny in, in our spiritual realm. But we're forgetting that it's a system and we're mixing the, the worlds up. We're mixing the creator's place up with the system. And that's where all the confusion is coming in because that's where you're looking for your worth in the system. You'll never find it. It's in the creator's place. So once we start to remember our purpose and our divine power, we won't look for it in the wrong places and then we will feel correct. And you'll see how you're going to feel, right? This is how you're going to feel and even better. <laughs> so those was the first six next cards we got. Yep. So you want to get in balance. This is why you're not where you, you need to be to go to where you're ready to go just yet. That's why they're still in the harbor, the gifts god has for you because you're healing you're going through things and you got to get in balance this is all about getting getting in balance and opening up to receive what spirit has for you next a lot of times we think we know better than spirit but you don't know better than spirit i don't know better than spirit that's why we ask them for guidance and for like <laughs> insight you know and protection because they know better spirit can like do things we can never do, but they can gift us with things to do just like 
and you see the signature, it's spirit that gave us that kind of power or that kind of gift. So all in all, this is how you get spiritual gifts is being whole, being married, being your divine masculine, divine feminine is one. And that's what they're doing. This angel is marrying both. So once you do that, that's where your power lies. This is a real like spiritual superstar. That's when you can do the best and the most when you're balanced and you're complete and whole. So that's what you're doing and that's what it takes. Yeah, because you're a beautiful queen and this queen gives, 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 gives. She just don't stop giving. She's the most loving, caring queen there is. You can't beat her. She's so loving. And this is what you want as a man. This is what I want. Because I'm going to treat the queen, this queen, correctly. When she gives, I give just as much, if not more. This queen needs that. She hopes she never gives to herself. So this is someone who has to get more in balance with the queen of swords, cut out what doesn't serve her, and say, no, I'm going to treat myself correctly. I'm going to put myself first when I need to because it's healthy to do that at times. Yeah, you want to help people where you can, but you want to be balanced and give yourself that power and that time, that hour to be right so you can have the power to be giving you know a lot of times we're running on empty and we're still giving <laughs> we can't do that we got to stop that <laughs> look at that so this is where your karma lies it's your time your fortune your favor on spirit spirit on you i should say it's your time they're bringing a fortune to you will of fortune to you so this is great news wait till you see the bottom of the deck card we got three outcome cards left this is a banger reading you got some swole <laughs> major arcanas at the end look at this queen what was i just saying what was i just saying this one is a super balanced queen. This is an empress. This is someone of her emotions, deeply in her emotions, well given, but she's also a warrior queen. She don't play. She don't suffer no fool. She has a filtering process up for that sword and she will cut away any BS, bring out pink elephants in the room while everybody's sweeping them under the rug and be like, nah, -uh, we're not sweeping this under the rug. What about this? What about that? That's not a thing. <laughs> that's this queen <laughs> so yeah this queen is super balanced and she's an empress and wow spirit is taking her to the next stage of her life be it with a king or maybe she's just marrying her divine yeah. <laughs> divine masculine with her divine feminine she sure is she's gonna get a king of truth holy smokes this is a match made in heaven this is a match made in heaven, queen. This is spirit bringing this together. This is karma. <laughs> this is why we don't want to block our blessings because God knows best. Spirit knows best. We think we know, you know, best, better than spirit at times, but we do not. They always twist and turn and break up all kinds of things in life. We think we're going this way. Now it's time to go that way. And it's not linear like the system. So we got to keep that in mind in the creator's place. <laughs> this is at play. People's destiny. And this is what this is. This is your destiny. And it's meant to be a truthful, a, a, a love relation based on truth and love. Like this is what me and my queen's relationship was. And I felt like it was destiny. You know, even though she's passed on, this is still our relationship. I still live this way. <laughs> this is my divine masculine, divine feminine through and through. And it's because I had that relationship with her that I learned how to be that. And her learned how to be that with me. And so this is it, y'all. This is everything. Y'all doing it. I can't wait to see show y'all the last card after this one. Oh, my God. Ooh, <laughs> all your dreams and wishes about to come true, Leo. You did it. You graduated. I might as well show you. Oh, my God. Ooh, <laughs> look at all these. Oh, look at all these major arcana cards for Leo. It turned out so beautiful in the end. It's so storybook. Look what you got. 
you know a lot of y'all going through a lot of pain you know you feel backstabbed by life or someone but that was your graduation to get through it you're going to graduate get through all this pain and suffering of the past you know get you a real man a real he's more than a man he's an emperor and this is what it is, spiritual superstars that you are. You got the sun that shows you the summertime, divine. And that's abundance through and through. This is your graduation, Leos. Y'all did it. This is y'all doing it. You know, now it's just time to receive because you graduated. You completely completed your task. And it was trying. It still is. But you're going to a whole new you, a whole new world, a whole new life, you know, a whole new husband, a whole new wife. So go right ahead, y'all. I appreciate you, Leos, for rocking with me. You know, it's a happy um, holiday time if you celebrate and all of that. But I just want to give y'all thank yous and big love for, you know, being on the channel and let me read for you. So all in all, have a blessed, blessed holiday if you celebrate and just know it's time for your life, for you to see real greatness. Greatness is yours. Okay. So this is abundance, love through and through. You're a spiritual superstar <laughs> and a leader <laughs> and it's your time from spirit it's showing it right here so goodness gracious look at this blessings leos appreciate y'all bye now